Hey all. Sorry for the long break. A lot has happened but I'm back now. This video marks the start of my new series How to Be a Scary Jungler. That's my main role so I'll be sharing tips that got me to mythical glory. Let's jump right into it. Number 1. Use retribution as often as possible in the early to mid game. Don't just save it for the buffs. There is a reason it's the spell with the shortest cooldown in the game. The point of a jungler is to farm fast and, well, bully the enemies with their economical advantage. Note however you should save it for the turtle. But I'm hoping I didn't have to say that. But if you want to be as efficient as possible, use it when the turtle is 20 seconds away from spawning. Retribution has a 30 second cooldown, and it takes about 10 seconds to slay the turtle all, things considered. Number 2. Just farm. Don't waste time camping in a bush waiting for an enemy to get close enough. That time could be spent killing creeps and increasing your advantage. If there is no immediate drama on your side of the map, just farm. It's better to take 100% sure farm than gamble on a 50-50 gank. Don't write a harass or delay anyone else's farm either because you'll also be delaying your own. That's a job for your roamer and mage. 3. Give yourself vision. That's correct. Give yourself vision. Players leave this job up to their tank. Which honestly isn't wrong. But for those of us playing solo, it's better to rely on your own devices as much as possible. It's best to just assume that your teammates are bad. I'll show you what I mean by giving yourself vision. It's risky but it helps you and your entire team. Given that they're looking at the map at least. So let's say you're in the bottom lane and you want to rotate to the top lane. Where would you pass? Every day is a fun day. Again, where would you pass? The same thing is mirrored on the other side of the map. What is the trend here? The trend is that I'm passing as close to the enemy's side of the map as possible. This makes it easier to gank, avoid ganks as well as prevent ambushes. It seems like a small detail, but it's the little things that makes all the difference. You'll understand more the higher up you go. If you're enjoying the video so far, please subscribe. It's really motivating. Back to the video. The first turtle is more important than the second and third one. The reason is because it lays the foundation for your team to snowball and build an economical advantage. That doesn't mean you should neglect the second and third turtle. Start attacking the turtle the moment it spawns even if you're alone. Keep pinging your team to help attack the turtle. They will eventually come to help. Even if they don't help, keep attacking it. If the enemies are already there when you arrive, contest it to the best of your ability. Remember, being the jungler is all about having more economy than your adversaries. Number 5. Be patient. Be extremely patient. The fastest way to throw a game is to lose your patience. If you play this game, you know that the tide of battle can change in an instant. Don't rush to get a kill as tempting as it is. Wait until you and your team is 100% ready and can take a proper engagement. If not, go clear a lane and try to split the enemies up. Not all matches are meant to be a bloodbath. I've played many 25 kill games. Remember. The aim of the game is to destroy the enemy's base. Taking down turrets are worth more than a kill 9 out of 10 times. Six, use retribution on the siege minion when clearing lanes. Junglers have this bad habit of saving it for the buffs or to chase kills. I can't stress enough on how inefficient this is. When you're in a lane, you're revealing your position to the enemies and it won't be long before they rally up and come for you. So you need to spend very little time in the lane. Using retribution on the siege minion turns it into a small minion and can be killed a hundred times faster. Not only that but the faster you clear the lane, the higher up your minions would be when they meet up with the enemy's minion wave. This means you and your team will have more map control as well as map vision. When your team is occupying most of the map, you all get to decide the pacing of the game. 
and where and if team fights happen. You can also take the Lord stress free. All of that starts from using retribution on the siege minion. Take advantage of the spell's extremely short cooldown. That about sums up this video. There will be many more to come. All I ask is that you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And maybe write something nice in the comments. Thanks for watching.